and we had to bulldoze this entire grove. The deadly citrus disease is so powerful, so relentless, it destroyed what used to be 20 acres of orange trees at one of Ellis Hunt's groves. I tell you what, I'd rather see an empty field than a dying orange grove. The worst thing in the world to a citrus grower is a dying grove. This veteran grower representing the voice of so many throughout Florida. Growers are looking for anything that can help. Researchers right now testing a possible solution. They're looking to see if certain bactericides proven effective on apple and pear crops can stop the spread of greening. This is another tool in the toolbox. Andrew Meadows at Citrus Mutual helping us understand the science. He says the bactericides will help heal the trees and then allow them to nourish themselves, something the disease was blocking. At this moment, the EPA has not approved the chemical on citrus. We're fairly confident that the EPA will grant this Section 18 emergency exemption and allow us to use this out in the field. The industry has spent millions upon millions of dollars looking for an answer. Last year, we traveled to Fort Pierce, Florida to show you how researchers are trying to kill the disease using heat, a method that is still showing promise. It is a, it is a gamble. You have to believe. Ellis Hunt is a believer. Just look at his newly planted orange grove for proof. It's an investment no one would make if they did not believe a solution is coming. I'm optimistic, and if it does any good, it's worth it. In Lake Wales, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.